Welcome to the Focusrite Novation Lounge. In the Automap 4.3 release video, I mentioned a new method of control of Live's devices and third-party enable plugins with the Impulse keyboard. There's also a firmware update, and I'm going to take you through that now. First, we're going to plug in the Impulse via USB. It seems obvious, but I'll explain the importance of it in a second. Then we're going to install Automap 4.3. So go to www.novationmusic.com forward slash support forward slash automap and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on either the .dmg for Mac or .exe for PC users. Complete the installation and at the end you'll be prompted to update the OS on the unit. And that's why we connect it first. So click on update OS and the update will be sent directly to the unit. So now we're going to configure live in the MIDI sync preferences. Click on the Automap symbol and Software Setup. Select the relevant size key controller, so the Impulse 49 or 61, and click on Setup Live. You'll be prompted to enable all your third-party plugins, or you can skip this process if you so wish. So in the control surface section, select Novation Impulse and make sure the input and output drop down menus are set to Impulse as well. So now you need to turn on the relevant MIDI ports in this window. So for both the inputs, turn on Track and Remote and for the output, turn on Track and Remote as well. You're now set up. So what the next steps of the software setup process do is explain how to control Live's mixer and Live's devices and third-party enabled plugins. But what I'm going to do is show you directly so you don't have to read any more instructions. The main differences introduced with Automap 4.3 are how you control Live's devices and third-party enabled plugins. There are now two modes of control. Ableton mode and Automap mode. With the plug-in button pressed once and the LED constantly lit, you can control Live's devices. And if you press it again, you enter Automat mode, where the LED is flashing and you can control your third-party enabled plugins. For plugins with more than eight parameters to control, you simply press Shift and Page Up to access these controls. So let's have a look at how the rotaries control the mixer in Live. If you press a plug-in and MIDI button simultaneously, you'll access mixer mode. And moving the rotaries will control the pans of your channels. If you press Shift and Page Up, you then access Send A, and Shift and Page Up again, Send B. Remember to press Shift and Page Down to go back to control your pans. The faders typically control volumes and the buttons below toggle between track, activator and solo or cue. And there you have it. So to recap, 1. Plug in the controller. 2. Install the latest versions of Automap and Live. 3. Wait for the firmware update to complete. 4. Configure Live's MIDI sync preferences. 5. Press plug in once to control Live's devices with the LED at a constant state. Six. Press plug in once more to control third party enable plugins with the LED flashing. 7. Press plug in and MIDI together to control the mixer. 8. Use shift and page up or down to toggle between pan and send controls. Thanks a lot for watching. This is a Focusrite Innovation Lounge.